Hello and welcome to another YouTube tutorial. In this video we will talk about missing very far traits button in Xcode 13. I will not go into the details about why you need the auto layout or adaptive layout with different size classes for your application. But in short both are required for your applications to look great on any device regardless of their size. If you started developing your application in Xcode 12 you notice that we used to have a very far traits button at the bottom of the Xcode next to where we would select the size classes. The way it worked was you had to align your views in the storyboard the way you wanted, select your size class, put some constraints on it and then switch to the new device size class such as iPad, select your UI kit element for example you're changing the constraints for image view then you will select the image view you will click on the very far traits button in here which will pop up the traits for width or height and then finally once you assign the new constraints you will click on done wearing it was that simple however with the xcode 13 the functionality is gone you don't see that very far trait button anymore in the new xcode 13 window variation for different device sizes is handled through the constraints as you can see in this project we have an image view of height 300 points which looked nice in iPhone however the image is bit off in iPad so this is something we will talk about and how we can fix it regardless of the device size before we start fixing our layout let's see how does our image view look on iPhone 13 Pro so I'm gonna select the iPhone 13 Pro and run this project as you can see the image view looks really great on our iPhone simulator we will test the same functionality on iPad Pro 12.9 inch and you can see the image view is little smaller and it doesn't look that great so what we are expecting is this image to look at least 600 points for the image view and this is something as you can see in the preview this is something what we are looking for but if we change the simple constant you can see the image on the iPhone gets distorted as well so what I will do is I will just change the value back to 300 in order to fix the height constraint we need to select the height constraint on the size class we are working on so iPhone in this case and we will go to the size inspector we will click on this plus sign here and create a variation for compact width and height regular so make sure you click on add variation we have two different variations for this UI image view we will uncheck the first default installed one as you can see as soon as I check the installed variation the default one the iPad preview goes blank so that means this variation is only working on compact height and regular device height which is most likely over all iPhones so now let's switch back to our iPad we will select the 12.9 inch iPad as you can see there is nothing in here so what we can do is simply we can select the image view and add a height constraint of whatever we wanted so initially we wanted 600 points I will select on add constraint and as you can see the height constraint we have 600 points but what we want to do is we want to make sure this is not the default property the 600 points height is always available only for iPad nothing else what we will do next is we will create another variation for this iPad and which is the regular width regular height click on add variation once the variation is there we will select our height constraint make sure the default constraint is unchecked and let's see how our application behaves just to make sure we will switch back our device size to iPhone 11 and now we can try building our application First let's check our application on iPhone 13 Pro. Perfect the image view is intact the way we wanted. Now let's go back to our iPad layout. So we will select this iPad device and let's run this application on iPad simulator. and this looks much better compared to our previous 
setup you can see in here the image view and the button are perfectly aligned the way we wanted and 600 points for ipad and 300 points for iphone let's extend our tutorial to demonstrate how you can use different variations to make sure your views are aligned based on the device orientation for example either if it's a portrait mode or if it's a landscape mode so what i will do is in order to get started i will move the view back to the portrait mode and then i will just clear all the constraints and we will start from beginning so right now we don't have any constraints on any of the view uh, first i will just give a constraint to this button just to make sure we want uh, width and height to be 180 points and 55s respectively and for the image view in this portrait mode we want it to stick to the borders on zero points on each side and 15 points for the bottom and the height we want it to be 300 points so if we run our project now nothing has changed because everything is the way it was originally and if you will see everything is on the same way except we need to center the button so what we will do is we will control drag this button to the UI image and select center horizontally. So if we rerun our project, you will see the cent button comes at the center of our view. It looks nice, but if we rotate our application, it is not really that great. This is not what we want. So what we want is we want this image view to go across all the borders and this find button to go in the center of the view so let's achieve that before we make any changes to the constraints what we want to do is we want to select all the existing constraints and we want to make sure there is a variation for that so the variation we need for a portrait mode is the compact width and regular height and we will click on add variation make sure the default variation is unchecked otherwise this variation will conflict with other size classes so in this way if we rerun our application again this variation and size classes make sure the view stays put the way we wanted it only for iphone in portrait mode because we have selected compact width and regular height next what we will do is we want this image view to go all the way to all edges in a landscape mode so we will fix the layouts for the landscape mode or the landscape orientation for iphone devices before we start fixing the layout one thing we need to make sure is here we are forcing the height constraint for this view which means it's on default installed property so it will be installed automatically for all views at 300 points that's something we don't want because we don't know the exactly height of this orientation so what i will do is we will select the constraint and cre create a variation for this as well and uncheck the default installed variation so this way we have um, a certain idea that if we change the orientation that 300 points layout will not get into effect to um, mess with our landscape mode orientation so in order to fix this image view all i have to do is drag the image view to the corners and we will put the constraints to zero points on all the way all corners click on add constraint everything looks blue which is good and for the find parking button we will simply drag it and drop it in the center or you can click on the this constraint icon in here and then select horizontally in container vertically in container and add two constraints right now the constraints are in effect but we still have to make sure that these constraints they only stay put only for the landscape orientation so in similar way what we will do is we will select all the new available constraints from this view the ones with our highlighted blue color and then we will create a new variation from the variation we are interested in is the width for any but the height of this view is always compact so we will select width any and height compact click on add variation and make sure you uncheck the default option and now we will rotate our phone this looks nice and also 
this looks nice in the landscape mode so let's run our application to see how things work all right so we have nice view in a portrait mode the way we wanted it and then if i switch back to the landscape orientation you can see our view is perfectly aligned and look much better than compared to it was without the initial constraints or without any constraints one thing i would like to add is at the beginning if you remembered we cleared all the constraints for all the selected sub -view. so this application will not work on ipad the same way it works on iphone but you get the idea now all you have to do is switch to the size class for ipad and then all you have to do is set up your views add some constraints into it the way you wanted this view to look like and then make sure in the size inspector you add the variations for this size class property which is regular height and regular width so that's all from me guys for this video i hope this made sense to you now you you should be able to play around with the ui view layouts and set up the size classes accordingly the way you want your views to look like i hope you learned something from this video if you liked the video please subscribe my channel and then do hit a like button on this video and make a comment in the comment section below thank you very much